morning. I'm here with Riley. And Lyra. Hi, Lyra. Lyra. Good. Good job. <laughs> We're at the portage going into Cat Lake in Halliburton. What time is it? I have no idea. 9.30? 9.30. in the morning on Saturday. It's supposed to be a beautiful day today. We got all day. We're taking our packs first. Uh, apparently this one single carries, but I don't, so. <laughs> <sighs> Thankfully, Riley's taking pity on me and we're gonna do two. So, off we go. We are on the water. Um, last I checked last night at 8.30, there was nobody else booked on the lake except for the site that's around the corner from us. It's 111. And there's actually like a big cliff rock between us. So probably won't hear too much noise if they are noisy. Um, yeah, we're just paddling through the lake, having a little race with Riley because uh, they're single blading and I'm double blading. I'm just gonna take my time because I don't want them to feel bad. So we're paddling along and Riley was trying to figure out what kind of birds are in front of us. Now that we're a little closer, we're pretty sure that they're loons. I assume they were geese because I have never seen a group of loons. What would you call them, Riley, a gaggle? What is a bunch of birds? It's a giggle. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there's nine of them. And um, I've never seen this anywhere else except Tomogamy. Uh, Alex Mathias told me a story about them, and I'm trying to my best to remember it here. All right, I felt I was scaring them off, so I stopped talking, and then they all disappeared. They're literally underneath us right now. Um, so I believe it's the trout. They stir up the mackerel from the bottom of the lake, and then the loons come to eat the mac mackerel, and that's why there's so many. Usually you only find a male and a female loon on the lake, um, unless there's some type of a territorial war and then it's usually a male and a male and a female and the two males are fighting to win the female's infection to become their, their mate. Um, generally, you only see two loons on a lake, so it's very rare to see that and I feel incredibly privileged. Oh, a little bit here. And uh, we just arrived at campsite 111. Um, we're booked on campsite 38, but when we paddled up, someone is on the campsite. Uh, they are the person that is booked on campsite 111, and I guess last night came in in the dark and couldn't find it, so they took that site. Uh, when we advised that we were staying on that site, we were booked on that site, we were told that um, they would move if they had to. <laughs> um, a little bit strange. <laughs> That's cheating. Um, so we went over to our neighbor's site and picked her off and tried to do really politely, but she was kind of confrontational about it and did not seem too happy with us asking her to leave. Well, it's noon and uh, we're still on this other campsite. Uh, I think it's 58 or 57. Um, it's not a very nice campsite, just for the record. I don't think anybody ever stays here. It doesn't look like anybody uses it. Um, there's a fire pit here down at the bottom and there's a couple of trails that go up, but there aren't really any places to put your tent um, or any other community areas. Um, so it would definitely be somewhere where you would probably camp uh, if you were by yourself. 
Um, we uh, went back to the campsite uh, 38 and um, Riley politely uh, asked the girl to go to her campsite and where she's supposed to be. Um, we got quite a bit of attitude from her and uh, it was kind of sucky because like it, it it almost felt like we were in the wrong and we're not um but riley said well we'll give you an hour we're gonna go paddle around and we'll come back and uh it's been an hour it's been actually over an hour we actually waited till noon we've just been sitting here chatting talking about gear and camp stories and stuff and uh we are going to jump in the canoes now and head over there and see what's going on i guess and um yeah it's not really the best way to start off a trip um you know Make sure that if you're gonna crash on a campsite um, that nobody else is booked on it. So we're gonna go uh, take a look at the site and uh, hopefully get set up. And uh, we're gonna compare backpacks and see uh, what each other has in our packs. And we've been talking gear and stuff. It's really cool to be out with somebody who's so experienced and uh, knows a lot about uh, camping and um, kind of compare, see how things are done uh, their way and my way and that kind of stuff, so. Anyways, I'll so be back in a bit, hopefully from our site. <laughs> What's going on? What time is it? We gotta have lunch. Oh my gosh, it's already 1.15. It's quarter after one. We got to camp at 12 um, because we had to wait. As I just said in the last little video, I, I posted in here that um, uh, there was a visitor on the campsite. So um, we had to wait a bit and um, <laughs> As you can see, we have a giant mess here. The reason is that Riley and I just made a really great video called What's in Our Bag and showing everything that we bring on trip and talking about all the different items of gear and stuff like that. And I'm gonna be posting a separate video for that. And when I do publish it, I'll put a link in the description and I'll also put a link here somewhere. <laughs> I see them do that in the videos all the time and I never think to do it. Um, yeah, so um, we're gonna go find a place to pitch our tents, um, but I think we'll have some lunch first. Yes, please. Because we don't have any uh, pending bad weather or anything. We don't need to hurry. We don't need to rush. And it's so. only one o'clock and we're already at camp. Yeah, so we're gonna get this all packed up and uh, we'll get some lunch ready and I'll be back in a bit. Well, we'll be back in a bit. All right, it is lunchtime here on Cat Lake. I have got a wrap. Um, I actually bought some chicken fingers yesterday, or so I thought they ended up being chicken wings. Um, so I just pulled the meat off of them. I've got some cheddar cheese and some ranch on there. And I've got some cucumber. What do you have, Riley? I am eating a Thai curry soup from last night's leftovers huh? with tofu and red pepper and some bok choy and some vermicelli noodles. It's tasty. Looks good. <laughs> We were actually just talking about the glass. Um, there is no um, bottle or can ban in Halliburton. Um, and we are obviously extremely cautious and we bring everything out that we bring in. Um, but just to note if somebody's wondering about that. Uh, I think Lyra's had a, a long day already. And she's ready for a little nap there. And uh, this is our view here while we're having lunch. Pretty nice. Um, are you sucking on your PFT? <laughs> it has a water pouch in the back of the PFT. What? Uh -uh. Seriously? <clears throat> Where did you get that? The Salas? I don't know how you say their name. The PFT? Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's a Salas. It is. I have a Salas. I didn't know you could get a water bladder with that. That's great. It just slides down the back end here, and then it comes out the front. It's awesome. Huh. Loads of bells and whistles. Get it? Bells and whistles. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> then my dog is cute. Look how cute she is. <laughs> Your dog is pretty cute. Ah. Coming back? Oh yeah. There's nothing. I see nothing. <laughs> Deep. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs>
was telling Riley when they were getting in the water that I have a tendency to start walking along the rocks and I slip and then I make some awkward video about it because that's how I roll and I almost did it already. I'm quite skilled at it. Look at all the mossy stuff in the water. Makes it nice and slippery. Yep. Okay, here we go. Okay, there's the ledge. One, two, three. You didn't think I was going to go, did you? No. <laughs> I didn't think so either. Oh. Go away. Oh, okay. well, it's three o'clock. Uh, I just got out of the water. Very refreshing. Um, it's not super, super hot today like it has been uh, the last few weeks. Um, so it's a little chilly getting out of the water, but it's still really refreshing. Uh, Riley's over on the other part of the lake there and they've got their goggles on and checking out to see what's on the bottom and I'm super jealous. I'm, I have a pair of goggles at home. I'm totally gonna bring them on one of my trips coming up and, and do that. I've been thinking about doing it on and off and I, I keep remembering at the wrong time when I'm not where my goggles are and then I remember after I'm out on a trip. So I'll try to remember to put them uh, maybe somewhere near my gear and that way hopefully I'll just throw them in my bag on one of these trips and I can check out what's at the bottom of the lake. Riley and Lyra went for a long swim. And a few more clouds in the sky, but uh, still a beautiful day here in Halliburton. Oh, we're doing some wood gathering for some uh, dinner preparations to make a fire. I just came across this really cool um, tree stump that got burned out uh, from the inside, maybe like some ground lightning or something. And uh, this looks really cool. Just barely anything of it left. There's one more. <laughs> I thought I was recording and I wasn't recording. Um, Riley gave me this fruit, fruit coconut jelly. I've never heard of such a thing. I've never seen it. I guess you can get it in like uh, Asian markets. Um, I filmed the whole thing. It was quite funny. I'm sorry you missed it, but it was pretty good. Um, I suck the whole thing into my mouth. It's kind of like jello and then it's got like kind of fruit or something inside of it. Anyways, it's really delicious. So um, you guys can send me some of these if you have some. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways, that's the update. We're just sitting here hanging out. The sun is kind of playing hide and seek a little bit. Um, it was really cloudy. We had a couple of dark clouds. We thought we were going to get rain on because we had like zero POP in the forecast. Neither of us brought a tarp. Like, and <laughs> we thought, oh, of course it's gonna rain, but it hasn't, so thank you, Mother Nature. Um, the sky is actually lightening up quite a bit. The clouds are becoming uh, more and more sparse, so hopefully we're in for a beautiful evening here on Cat Lake. See these positions? <laughs> Do the splits. That's gonna hit the rock. Don't, don't. I wanna get out here, but I know I'm gonna get a soaker. It's a very small window.
Riley's getting the fire going. They've declined using fire sticks. Got quite a bit of wood. Uh, there was a little bit here and we harvested a bunch and sawed a bunch up and we're all good. an ember hit me in the mouth. <laughs> oh, when does that happen to people? I've never had that happen to me before. That was the first. Oh, that startled me. I don't see anything, but it burns. Oh, Riley built a nice fire and um, just waiting for it to kind of simmer down so dinner can be started. Riley is actually making dinner today. They're making chicken fajitas, and all I know is that there's beans and sour cream and cheese involved. I don't think I've ever had a chicken fajita, so I'm pretty stoked to see what it's like. And uh, I also brought ice cream sandwiches from OTG for dessert. Not sure if we'll get to those. We've eaten uh, some good stuff today. Cheers. Thanks for the cup. Thanks for the comp, honey. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> the company. What is going on? Chicken. Put some taco seasoning on it. And that's going to stay there and get nice and grilled for a little while. And then we're going to put some onions and peppers into that pan and wait for it all to cook down. Yum! Burn my hand while I'm at it. Don't do that. Listen to that sizzle! I don't usually eat onions and peppers, but I'm not going to say Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I was given a job. I was given an avocado, so I smushed it up for the fajitas. And then I added some garlic and some salt. And there's lime here somewhere. I'm going to add that to make it like a guacamole. Over here, what is happening? There are peppers and onions that apparently Christina isn't going to eat. I'm going to eat some of them, <laughs> just not all of them. And then we're dealing with some cut up chicken. I fried it over the fire first, and now I cut it up and put it into a frying pan with some taco seasoning. Oh, it smells delicious. Mm. And crisp that up a bit, add some beans to it, and then we'll eat. Fantastic. All right, there's the spread. I'm not sure what to do, so I'm gonna watch you. Watch me? Mm. I'm gonna take a tortilla. Oh, why don't we use the plate? So. Use the, plate. the plate is the tortilla. Because you could use the <laughs> plate. Sure. Well, it might leak, right? That's true. Okay. There, now we can see it. Okay. Tortilla, and then fill it with whatever you want on it. Avocado, chicken, cheese. Okay, um, goodbye. My fajita is ready, and I'm quite sure now at this point that I have never had a fajita. Um, Riley's got some over there. I just put a whole bunch on mine, and uh, made one big one, so I'm gonna try it. I really want to film Riley eating that. <laughs> it's not gonna go well. <laughs> Maybe burritoing it. Even that's not gonna work well. Oh. And you, did you make the beans? Cause you were doing something with the beans the one day I was talking to you. Um, I soaked the beans at home first and then I boiled them. And then after they were done boiling, I fried them up to make refried beans with just like taco seasoning and flavor. What? Oh my God, it's so messy. <laughs> All right. That one has no hope. All right, it's my first Vegeta. Mm. Mm. There's so many different flavors, which is really good. Mm. I don't have time yet, goodbye.
This is way too full. This is not gonna go well. Vegeta, take two. Mm -hmm. good, good facial expression. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spit it out. It's gonna be so messy. <laughs> oh, it's coming out the bottom. I know. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks for making these. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. There's no hope with this. It's coming out, out of both hands. <laughs> <laughs> I've had days like that. Mm. <laughs> nope. uh, but you know what? The messiest stuff is the best tasting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First fajita. Um, I'm stuffed. First of all, it was really filling. And it was so, so delicious. <laughs> I was worried it was going to be too spicy. Um, I just got a little tiny bit of a kick here, and it's it's not much at all. I don't, I don't eat black pepper, so for me to say that, it's probably like nothing to nobody. But um, Riley said <laughs> there was a burn as well. So I guess we have the same well, food spice. Oh, that's because I ate salsa. Oh, do you think it was the that's salsa? because I was eating salsa. Oh, they had salsa on theirs, and I didn't, so I think that was the spicy part, but oh look, it's like I'm an angel, I have a halo over my head from the sun over there. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm stuffed, there's cleanup, and I don't want to move, so I'll see you later. Oh, thanks Riley, dinner was great. So the loons are back. Just started filming them. Of course, they're ducking under the water. There is currently five of them. And uh, that's a pretty awesome sight to see. It's very rare. Well, this is the scene here on <laughs> Cat Lake. Uh, sun is kind of going down-ish, but um, it's behind the trees. Uh, which is sad, but oh well. Hopefully I won't miss too much. If so, we can just jump in the canoes. And uh, Riley's got a great little fire going here. And we're just sitting here enjoying this beautiful view. And our very, very, very full bellies. Well, I guess Riley and uh, Lyra have had enough because they're getting in the boat and they're leaving. <laughs> no. Lyra, come here. They're going to go check out the uh, sunset because it's behind the trees there, but I really don't think there's anything worth going out for, so I've asked for a few photos if there's anything good, but staying on land. Way to break the silence, buddy. <laughs> there he is. I think we got some loon wars going on here on the lake. Here comes another one. One was flying across the water, half running, half flying, and uh, went right beside Riley's canoe. Like It looked like it was really close from here, and I think Riley is filming. So we'll see what that looks like when they come back. That was awesome.
What, what could be more majestic than sitting here in the middle of this glass lake at sunset, listening to loons, watching them take off? Of course, my dog is falling asleep and ruining the sound of it. And I have ash on my cheek. It is um, 10 o'clock and I am in my tent. Uh, we had a wonderful evening. We've been chatting all day about gear and trips and all kinds of different destinations, all kinds of different ways we do things. And it's been really, really enjoyable. It's been a really great day. I'm really happy that I got to do this trip with Riley. Um, it's a beautiful night. It's about 16 degrees here and just getting ready to go to bed. I'm super tired. Uh, I've been up since early, early this morning and uh, I didn't have a good sleep the night before, so I'm really tired. Uh, so I'm looking forward to crawling in my sleeping bag and going to bed. I'm pretty much all ready for bed. Uh, I'm just gonna go out to, to the privy one more time and then uh, hopefully the fajitas don't torment me all night. Uh, my stomach feels really good, so hoping I don't have any issues and I just wake up at like, I don't know, 6 a.m. or something and just go to the bathroom then and not have to go at like 3 in the morning. Uh, anyways, that's about it. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Sleep well. Have a good night. Good night. I just got in my sleeping bag and uh, I realized that my thermorest is uh, fairly lopsided here uh, on the left side. So uh, what I did was I took a bunch of my clothes, like at the long sleeve that I wore earlier, I rolled it up and put it in a big Ziploc, my shorts, uh, tank top, my raincoat, and I've just kind of like wedged them underneath the side of the thermorest here, and that seems to do enough to kind of prop it up and uh, even me out so I don't feel like I'm sliding off this way all night long. Hopefully it works. I'll let you know tomorrow if it doesn't. <laughs> Good morning. It is 6.15 on Sunday, August 28th. Good morning! Well, it is about 7.15 or so here at the campsite and I'm um, just getting breakfast going. I was in charge of breakfast and Riley did dinner and uh, I decided to make French toast um, because it's something I've only made once on a backcountry trip so I'm trying to think of new things and creative things to make um, to inspire you guys too and just to keep things fresh. Uh, so what I did was I brought this container and inside of it to keep the bread from getting all destroyed inside the bear vault I put it in the container because it fits perfectly. There's four pieces of Italiano bread and I have a little bit of cinnamon in here and I have some maple syrup from Muskoka. Um, I forgot the butter uh, but I did happen to have a container of oil so I'm going to have to use that and uh, I'm just going to cook this up. Um, oh and the main ingredient, of course, bacon for the side. <laughs> There's about uh, six pieces of that, so um, it's already cooked. And uh, I'm gonna get started, so that's about it for now. That's what's happening here. And uh, I'll be back in a bit.
gave me this. She had it for one of her toys. Perfect. And she's showing me all her toys, and I go, oh, that's a cute little container. She goes, you want it? I'm like, yeah. She goes, what are you going to use it for? I'm like, something small. So, <laughs> Scarlet, I'm using it, and it's awesome. It's just perfect for the cinnamon. All right, we're going to let that cook, and I'll be back in a bit. All right, one order of French toast with bacon for you. Yeah. And here is some Muskoka <laughs> maple syrup. I'm into the container. Probiotics. That's one of the ones that I use that it doesn't leak very much. So. All right, there's my French toast. It looks good. I got some nice crispy bacon. I pre-cooked it at home, and I just heated it up here. So I'm going to eat. Beautiful view here on Cat Lake. All right, it's going on 10 o'clock and uh, we're all packed up. Riley's out on the water over there already. And um, my boat is just over here. We just did a little photo shoot to uh, make a cover photo for the video. Uh, campsites all cleaned up, left tons of wood for the next people. And uh, it was a really great place to stay. So thank you campsite and we're off. <laughs> Well, of course, on this little wee lake, have like 10, 15 minutes to paddle at the most. I think that's even pushing it, and the wind is at our backs. I haven't even paddled at all, and I've already gone quite a good distance. Sorry, what did you just say? I'm filming now. <laughs> I was talking about how the roots of the lily pads are edible, and how the white flowers are also edible. Really? Do you have to do anything to them, like mushrooms? you have to cook them? or I haven't actually tried them, so oh. I don't know. Okay, so don't try this at home without researching <laughs> yeah. it first. <laughs> oh, Riley has taken off with my paddle. <laughs> They've been wanting to try it the whole weekend, so... We're in wind. So I'm literally just like, doing a stern rudder with... taking their boat out of the water and we are going to try my boat and my paddle because I think the paddle test was pretty successful <laughs> yes that's my fancy seat it weighs a lot <laughs> are you gonna kneel or sit there you go Girl, it's okay. They're coming back. Riley took off in the canoe. And uh, poor Lyra's freaking out. I think she thinks she got abandoned. It's okay. They're coming back. Uh, if you may have uh, been wondering, or have caught that I have been saying or trying to say, attempting my best to um, use the pronouns they, them, uh, which is what Riley prefers. And um, it's been a bit of a challenge for me. But Riley has been very forgiving of my mistakes and uh, it's kind of hard to get into a new habit, but I'm doing my best. So in case you've been catching that in the videos, so that is why. Hey, I'm Riley. I'm a queer, non-binary outdoor enthusiast and pushing for diversity in the outdoors. You, you took off pretty fast. Oh yeah, that was speedy. All right, Riley's back. What'd you think? That was great. I had a blast. You're super fast out there. Super Even with fast. the wind like coming right at me, I was like going. Awesome. That's good. All right, it is 25 after 10. We are on the portage. Uh, Riley wanted to take the canoe first. 630 meter portage. And uh, just have to go back and get the packs. Riley just showed me this and they said it's wild sarsaparilla. Yes. How can you tell? Uh, I can tell 
because I was told by someone and I've memorized the way it looks. <laughs> <laughs> but it has the split leaves ending in a point in a set of three. Hmm. All right, and I believe that was native elder Alex Mathias who told you that, is that correct? It was, he said they used to use the roots and then boil it down into a tea and that could be enough nutrition or nutrients to save people's lives in dire need. Ooh, very cool. All right, we just dropped off the canoes. We're back at the lake and we're kind of procrastinating a little bit. It's too nice here to walk all the way back to the portage just to get in our cars. Yeah, we've, we've been considering going swimming, but oh, actually we both have our packs here. <laughs> I'm telling you, just leave the video camera off for it. <laughs> um, I'll do the recap here since there's not too much left, unfortunately. Uh, thank you so much for coming. I had such a great time with you. Thanks for being available. I'm I learned out. a lot. Yeah, me too. Yeah. You had a good time. What was your yeah. favorite part of the, the weekend, I want to say, but it was just a one-nighter, but it's still a weekend. Uh breakfast this morning. I haven't had bacon in a really, really, really long time. That was delicious. All right. Thank that's you. good. I think my favorite part was our little gear, what's in your pack. Oh, yeah. That was Riley's idea. And uh, I'm probably not going to be able to fit it in this video. And I'll publish it in a separate video. And when I do, I'll put the link here so you guys can check it out if you want. Anyways, we're going to sign off. Thanks so much for coming. I hope you had a great time. Bye. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. I do that again. Shake. Right beside you? Yeah. It's almost as good as going swimming. Why do they always do that? Twist? I hate it twisted. People say that you should twist them to keep them from making noise, but I find just the opposite. I find that if you keep them flat, they don't make any noise. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.